Hi, this is Chris with SSFMP Silver Screen Film Music Productions. In the past, I've gotten quite a few requests to make a tutorial as to how to load VST instruments within your music sequencer, so I've decided to finally upload a video to explain how to do this. We're going to use Sonar 8 Producer Edition and for a demo, the RA Ethnic Sound Pack from East West Quantum Leap. So, after you put the install disk in, you run the software like as normal. Click Next next and you will have a username and serial number in front of you that you have to enter that information in. I've already done it so that's why it's not showing up. And when you get to the screen you gotta make sure all these boxes are checked because the VST, DXI, and RTAS plugins are the synth files that's needed to open up the rack in the sequencer. So click next, install like you would a normal program, your program files, install it in the library under the file that you found. All right. When you get to this, you have to install into the VST plugin folder of the sequencer program. In this case, we already know where it is. You have to search your computer and find it. I guess if you're using uh, Cubase, it'd be under Steinberg Cubase or whatever. But when you get to that program file location, which is cakewalk for us, you're going to see this. Now, I've had to copy a few of them outside of the folder. It doesn't matter where they go because more than likely you're going to have to do a little managing with the files to get them to work correctly. I know I did. Um, so I've got three of them there, and the rest of them are installed within the VST plugin file of Cakewalk. Now, Contact 2 and Intact are all outside of it, because I had a few problems with that. Don't ask why. It must be Windows 7. But make sure that those files are installed into the VST plugin file of the Music Sequencer program file location. Click Next. Next. It automatically does DigiDesign. I don't mess with that. And click Next and we'll install the things for you. Now, I've already done this, so now I'm going to show you how to load up and refresh the VST folder plugins within Sonar. I've got the little logo thing you heard at the beginning of this video open. Now to refresh the files, you're going to need to go to Options, Global, VST Plugins tab, and down here, click Scan VST Folders. This is the scanning process that you normally see during the loading screen of Sonar. But since you've installed it, it doesn't automatically refresh sometimes, so you have to manually scan all the Cakewalks of VST plugin file and program file folders so that it can find the proper ones. Well, I've got quite a few of them, so it's going to take a minute. There's RA, so we know that it found it. Alright, once it's scanned all the folders, you click OK. And to load up the synth rack or view it more so, the keyboard command shortcut is Alt and the number 8. That brings the synth rack up. You see I've already loaded it here. Let me get rid of that. Right, you click the drop down. There we go. Click the drop down. Native instruments. And it depends, it could be anywhere up in here, it could be in the VST plugins, scan over, or it, in this case it's got two of them. I've got RA here and RAVST. I know this one works. And there we go. There she be. Well, I hope this helps you all out. If you have any further problems, you can either send me a message on my channel or a private message to chris at ssfmp.com. I hope this tutorial was helpful in some ways, and it's time for me to hit the sack because it's 2.30 in the morning. Good luck, people. Wish the best to you. Happy holidays.